We are at the largest aquarium festival in America. A massive circular tank with big text right there in the middle. Every type of axolotl you could possibly imagine. All the biggest, craziest coral pieces in the shape of the state of Texas. Right. We got 304 tanks in the house currently. They eat man, meaning me and you. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. It's got this huge tree in here. $20,000 for this arowana. I think I may have it sold. No way. Right now, please have your QR codes ready. Welcome to Aquashella Dallas. Today, we're gonna be showing you all of the best aquariums here. We're gonna start right off with, look at this. Since we're in Dallas, Texas, we got Big Tex. He is like an icon in this city. There's a massive 100 foot version of him in Dallas. They had this massive circular tank with tons of plants, tons of different fish and big text right there in the middle. Super cool. There's axolotls in here. Look at this cool little baby axolotl. Look at them. Whoa, it's swimming. There's another one. Look there. So many axolotls in here. They're definitely babies. We're here with dark frog connections. Oh, I'm missing a finger. What are these? A giant waxy monkey frog from the Amazon range. Giant forest. waxy monkey frog. Oh my. This has got to be one of the coolest animals that I've ever held. It looks like a wax toy or something. So they secrete a wax that keeps them from drying out. What they do is they basically rub their stomach that secretes that wax and they rub it on themselves like sunscreen. Look at his hands, like... You got some frog-like instincts, bro. This is called an Amazon fringed leaf frog. Look at the way its base is like white. It looks like it's been like traveling through the ice age or something. And these sell for $500. Adults of house. How do you feel about freshwater people? People are okay, as long as they stay near their tanks away from me. What do you think about pee puffers? What is that? You can't possibly hate on pee puffers. What is a pee puffer? We're now taking you into the freshwater area. Ew. Do you just feel like a creeping anxiety? I actually feel really uncomfortable. Look at this fish. Yeah. What do you think about it? Looks weird. The head's bent. I'm a big fan, David. Nice to meet you. Freshwater or saltwater? Freshwater. You stay in your lane, I'll stay in mine. It's an Aquashella standoff. I'm leaving. <laughs> he doesn't get it, that guy. Did you make a video about a red one in Japan? I think I did. Oh yeah, that's right. How big is this tank? 280 gallons. Whoa. What are we looking at right here? It's a gold polka dotted silver arowana. It's the only one in the country, and there's only a handful of them in the world. I'm not kidding. Whoa, look at that. You see all the polka dots on it? I actually have never seen an arowana like that before. He looks a metallic gold. How much is this arowana? I believe the owner's wanting 20,000. I think I may have it sold. What else is in here? We got some massive plecos, some monster fish. You have a gooch. Did you just say the word gooch? Yeah. They get six foot. Their mouth is full of razor sharp teeth. They're man eaters. They eat man, meaning me and you. Yeah, they've been on river monsters. Dude, this is the coolest puffer fish that I've ever seen. Look at the coloration on him, he's so cool. And it's $2,500. Why are they so expensive? The area they come from, the area, is not the easiest to collect from. Puffer fish from Africa. And then you guys also have a fly river turtle over here. He's cute. Hi, bub. It's like in Voldemort and a turtle had a baby. Sir, what are you shopping for? Helping a friend of your shop actually can make it. Where's we're live here. He had playing a golf tournament. Where are you at, Wisconsin? Michigan. Michigan. You're helping him buy coral? Yeah, he's buying a red gawny right now. That's a nice piece. You get like commission on this sale? I How wish. Alright, so we're at the Custom Aquarium's booth. They got this amazing tank right here. Look at this. It's got this huge artificial tree in here. Tons of these little freshwater fish inside. This is one of the coolest aquariums I think at the show. I think we killed it with this one, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a rimless tank, obviously 48 by 48 by 24 tall. It's about a 200 gallon aquarium. We worked with Universal Rock to make it. This is what I sent them. You sent them this, this picture. And they made that. What are some of the fish that they're seeing? Oh, we got some gravies, some tiger barbs, and some koi angel fish. What are you holding right now? So this is a blue tongue skink from Australia. Oh my God, he ate a Smurf. Why is his tongue so blue? Threat thing. Like, leave me alone. They open their mouth, they'll stick their tongue out all the way. Like a big leaf, but blue. Kind of keep people away for a second. What are we about to do right now? We're gonna pull out a 10 foot red tail boa. She's nice, but there's no stopping where she wants to go. So I got about six inches of space right here. I can still breathe. Angelfish, what do you have to say to the snake? She doesn't want to let go, look at this. What are you buying today? Almond leaves. Almond leaves? Yeah, for sure, uh, good biofilm. Makes these leaves different than the ones we see outside during the fall. These are already dried and ready and removed for pesticides. We're at the shrimp contest. I want to find out who the first place shrimp was. This is second place. Oh, there is first place. What? 
No. You look familiar. You're Coral 12G, aren't you? I'm the guy they hired to look like that guy. We're here at Blue Dog Aquatics. Look at this guy. He's in red and blue bar, antelope panther chameleon. He is so colorful. Oh, look at his little arm. How much is this guy? 2500. If I held him, he just turned like pale white. We could try this theory out here. What is up, Hot Rod? He's like, dude, it is so pale and white on this arm. I'm going back to the cool tattoo guy. <laughs> Oh, I get an interview. <laughs> Let me compose myself real quick. Listen, it's a great honor seeing you because I'm gonna tell you something. Your video convinced me to come to Aqua Shelter. When I saw the video, I was like, you know what? 89 bucks for a VIP pass. I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Your videos, I watch them. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like a long, long time ago watch them. So I just seen how you done evolved and stuff like that. It feels like we're related, but we're not. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm family. I kind of get that feeling from everybody around here. Like, I can be best friends with everybody. That's my Canadian homeboy. I met him. We're like best friends over here at Aqua Shell. I don't even know his name. You know what I'm saying? He let me get in line with him. All right, so we are now in the coral area. So many saltwater coral vendors. They're selling all the biggest, best, and craziest coral pieces. We're here with North American Coral Labs. This is a piece of coral in the shape of the state of Texas. How long does it take for a coral to encrust all the way over? It took about six months, maybe. How much is, well, what are you selling for? You know, we don't sell stuff like that. It's just to show people. And if you just really wanted to give me $1,000 for it, maybe. That's a beast. I love that coral. What happened last night? I like the opportunity of a lifetime. I made a bet to George, proving that I could be the most flexible 300 pound plus man, and that I would bust out the splits if he would take his shirt off and sign it for me at Aqua Shelly this year. Tons of really cool art for sale here. All of this art is created with UV paint, so it all glows under black light. Look at all these pillows. I'm literally just chilling in some coral right now. We're here with Nick and Chris, the gingerbread twins. Do you know which one is which, sir? I have no idea which one's which. <laughs> who is your favorite president? What the kind of question is that? Nick, who is your favorite president? I don't like any of them. Gingerbread twins for presidents. What's your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite color? Green or orange? I have two. Orange is for the ginger, yeah. Favorite food? Chicken nuggies. Pizza baggies or tacos. <laughs> Guys, they're much more different than you ever thought. They're two totally different human beings. It's almost like we are different people. All right, so we're here at Trinity Aquatics. They have every type of axolotl you could possibly imagine. Why are axolotls so popular right now? A lot of people are into axolotls, especially little kids, because of Minecraft. So you really got to educate people on, are you able to take care of this animal properly? Low fish axolotls. A while back, scientists put jellyfish DNA into the axolotls, and now that carries over through the genetics. These ones are like brown over here. Yeah, we have proper axolotls. These guys, look at them. Whoa, they're so cute. This right here is the Fluval Aquascaping Contest. These are some of the best aquascapers from around the world. The most inspirational. I better sit here then and grab some inspiration. And this is the first place aquascape. Wow. This is Grant. He's the one that actually aquascaped this. Tell me about your aquascape. Shelby and myself, we went through as a team project. We didn't have all of these curvy structures. We had to make all of those. You and Shelby, like this is insane. What did you win? $1,000. Let's go. What are you going to do with all the money? We got 304 tanks in the house currently. I want to be at 500 by the end of the year. Most people say, I'm going to Disney World. Grant is going to buy more fish tanks. We have two aquarium manufacturers actually fighting with their fan bases on the show floor. Never seen this before at Aqua Shelter. Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> Aqua Shelter. This would be the newest hot DJ, Axolotl. <laughs> My mom has been asking me for probably the last six months if we can get an axolotl. I think 20,000 likes. That's unfair. Set it up. I think right now. We're here with Robert from Fossil Stone Gallery. One of the coolest booths I've seen at Aqua Shell in a while. The whole booth is full of ancient relics from prehistoric fish. You're telling me those are real jaws. Aquatic dinosaur. An aquatic dinosaur. This is a 2.6 million year old megalodon tooth. Where did you find this? Diving. $1,500. I want it. What do you think about it? I think it's super cool. It's like the tiniest reef ever. It's pretty tiny. Last year we showcased the tiniest reef tank in the world. However, this year you guys brought something new, the tiniest freshwater aquarium in the world. So you can see here it's set up with these little cute shrimp that are hanging all around. So tiny. I want it. 
We're here with the whole team from Aquarium Co-op. Dean, Corey, Irene, and Zenzo. I feel like all the Avengers have assembled. How did everyone's talks go? Good, fold out, standing room only. You guys can watch the talks on the Aquashella YouTube channel. What are these and why do you have them? Want them in a raffle. What are they? In terrarium. You buy a lot of raffle tickets? That's what's up. We're at the Oase booth. They always bring the best aquascapes, so we gotta check some of these out. Are you guys learning a lot? Yes. All these little workshops going on for the different subsections of the hobby. Can you guys tell me about this scape that you guys made? Our collaborations usually have an above water element and a below water element. These are my favorite part. It looks like the canopy of the Amazon jungle. Tell us about this tank. 24 gallon macroalgae tank. What I love about this is that it's like a blend between a true planted aquascape style and like saltwater coral reef. These are what, filefish? White spotted filefish. This right here is a sea slug. And there's a bunch of them in here. They're all sorts of different colors. They're really cool. We're here with Ken from saltwateraquarium.com. What do you think of the show? Biggest and best one I've ever seen yet. Three straight shows saying that. What are you that. do with it? So we're going to start compiling them. New best one ever. The best one on record ever. Biggest and best one I've ever seen yet. See this video yet? Fish tanks and fireworks. <laughs> Twelve gallons. I know, it's like almost my size. What is the coolest thing about jellyfish? Jellyfish have been on the planet for over 500 million years. They are spineless and brainless. This is the end of their life cycle. Brian Barcheck, you're obviously famous for the reptiles, but you might be getting into fish soon, right? And we're working on an aquarium, a public aquarium right now. Hopefully it happens here in the next six or eight months. I am literally hooked like a fish now. I don't know that there's gonna be an aquashella that I'm not at in the future. This is the Aquashella charity raffle. How much money worth of prizes was in the raffle this year? Uh, at least 20000 Jared organizes a raffle, $20,000 worth of raffle prizes. That's why this huge crowd of people is here, and all of that money is going to charity. We have Michael here. He's an aquascaper that came all the way from Poland. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. The amount of detail in this tank is absolutely insane. You know, with aquascaping, it's not about fish. You just need small fish to make aquascaping look bigger. Do what you can to be at Aquachella Chicago this October. Tons of creators, tons of vendors like the ones you saw here today are going to be there. See you at the next Aquachella, but until then. George, out. Gingerbread. Come for the fish, stay for the cookies. Yeah.